morning. Um, it's like 6 a.m. and I guess I gotta make a video. Um, what should I talk about today? Uh, <clears throat> I guess, I guess Kanye is in the news, um, so I could talk about that. Uh, I just got back from a comedy festival, saw John Mulaney, one of my favorite stand-up comedians. So, so that could be that could be a thing. Um, I could talk about why I wake up at 6 a.m. Um, most mornings. That could be fun. I don't know. What do y'all want to see? Okay. Okay. I'll bite. I'll do another Tech Tuesday video. But that doesn't just mean you can comment anything and I'll do it. All right. All right. Just this once. Hi, I'm Jarvis, and welcome back to Tech Tuesday, episode two. It's officially a series. Are you happy? No. Are you, are you happy? Let me know in the comments down below. This is gonna be a shorter video today, mostly because it is actually Tuesday and I have to go into work soon. I'm still feeling a bit behind with stuff, but things are on the up and up. I've got pages and pages of video ideas and I wanna get back to work on a bigger video, but this is gonna have to do for now. I did just put out a new episode of my podcast on adulthood, so definitely check that out wherever you get podcasts. Honestly, I get it. Today I wanna to talk about something I see with a lot of new programmers and students, but also people working their first internships and even first jobs in the industry. It's a bad habit that if left unaddressed can really hinder your career growth. Personally, I've experienced this at various parts of my career, but I first really became aware of it when I was a TA, a teaching assistant, and I saw it all the time from the students who would come to my office hours. So the thing itself is really hard to describe, but here it goes. People are often afraid to try things out for themselves, does that, does that make sense? Here's an example. Hey Jarvis, can you look at my homework? I'm not sure that it's right. Sure thing. Uh, so what happens when you run this? Um, r run it? Yeah, you you haven't tried to, to run your homework? Oh, no, I just wanted to make sure it was right first. What? It was like they were diffusing a bomb. Hey Jarvis, can you look at this bomb diffusal? Hmm, wow, you, you cut the red wire. Wow, it's a good thing you didn't turn this on because We'd all be dead. Huh. Good thing I asked before I tried it out. Wow. What do you want from me? It's either this or no video. Okay, so that would make sense if writing code was super dangerous, but it's not. The fastest way to learn to do anything really is to fail fast. Programming is actually this amazing thing where you can get instant feedback on whether or not your thing works, which can't be said about a lot of things in life. So if you don't take advantage of that, you're really missing out on a pretty big part of it. The next part of this though is to try to understand what's wrong. Another thing that programming does really well is give you error messages. I cannot tell you how many times I've encouraged a student to run their code and then it was like, it still doesn't work. Oh, um, what does it say? Oh, hey there, John. It's me, the compiler. On line 54, it looks like you mistyped the name of a function. No biggie. Go ahead and fix that up and the code should run perfectly. Ugh, man, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to do this whole thing again. I hate programming. Not trying things out is a bad habit. And I, I know because I've experienced this. And for me, it came from this feeling of not wanting to fail, you know, or, or not wanting to be embarrassed. But the quicker you fail, the faster you succeed, you know? Another version of this is when you put up these barriers that seem to block your success. This is something that I, I think suffered from the most. Oh, golly gee, I wanna learn to code, but there are so many programming languages. Which one should I pick? Just pick one. Oh, I wanna start a YouTube channel, but I don't have a nice camera. Just use the one you have. If you already have a solution that works, then you've done most of the work already because everything after that has diminishing returns. The fear of failure or embarrassment is really real though. I remember when I was an intern, I was afraid to ask questions because I thought people would think I was dumb or they would realize that I didn't deserve to be there. So naturally, since I was an intern, I would get stuck a lot and then I would just twiddle my thumbs and not talk to anybody until someone realized I was struggling and reached out. In those instances, I was blocked and I wasn't taking things into my own hands. Like I assumed this was gonna happen if I asked questions. Hey man, how's your intern doing? Wow, he's so dumb and he asks so many questions. I can't believe he doesn't know the answer to everything already. After all, he is an intern. I've heard enough, let's get rid of him. Scary, right? But that's totally made up. And in practice, it was more like, hey, how's your intern doing? Great, he asks so many questions and he's really good at unblocking himself. I see full-time potential there. I've heard enough, let's get rid of him. What? Yeah, he sounds great, but I just don't like that look he's giving me. 
it creeps me out. In the tech industry, we talk a lot about the skill of unblocking yourself. And here's my advice on getting started there. So you've come up against a roadblock and you feel stuck. First, figure out if you're actually stuck. How big is the roadblock? You know, like, is it a spike strip, like car chase style? Or is it something that you can move yourself, like a tumbleweed or a use a DVD of the movie School of Rock. Then decide your next course of action. Spend a little bit of time trying to solve the problem yourself and then ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness to ask for help. It's actually a strength to know what you don't know. This is a skill, so it's gonna take some time to build, but invest in that because I think it's a really necessary skill in my field, but also just a really necessary skill in life. You know? Anyway, that's all I had for today. Hope you enjoyed this lower five video. If you liked it, please Kamehameha that like button. Hit subscribe if you want more videos from me. Remember to hit the bell if you don't want YouTube to forget to notify you about my videos, because that's a thing. Let me know in the comments what you want to see from the next Tech Tuesday. Uh, and also anything else, because I'm not just going to make tech videos, I would lose my mind. Just a reminder that we're all complex people with like a three-dimensional set of interests. Speaking of that, go check out the new episode of Sad Boys where Jordan and I teach you how to be an adult. Anyway, see you next time.